Hi friends! So I'm going to show you guys how to properly use Snazaroo. Mm. I just broke it. I'm using... Oh, you can't read that. I'm using light grey. Um, this is the most common Snazaroo color for home stucks. It's good for sensitive skin because it's water-based and it doesn't have any like allergens in it or anything. The problem with Snazaroo that a lot of people have is that because it's water soluble, it'll come off when you sweat, which is gross. And it doesn't stay if you use it all day. But I mean, I, I've never worn it to a con. I'd use these for photo shoots or, you know, if you're cosplaying indoors. Um, but I wouldn't wear it to a con. So you start with a clean face. And because this is water soluble or water activated, you have to wet your sponge, but don't get it really wet. Like, I ran my sponge under water, I'm squeezing it out, and I'm gonna pat it dry with a towel. Also, a thing to note is it, it technically comes out of clothes because it's washable, but because it's so highly pig pigmented, it'll probably stain your clothes too. So be careful. I usually stick my makeup in the microwave for like five seconds, no more, just to kind of soften it up. And then with a wet, with a, with a damp but not like soaked sponge, you're just going to take a little bit of makeup, less is more, you don't need a lot, onto your sponge, less is more, dab it onto your face like this. So this is what it looks like. I just did one layer. Um, you don't need that much makeup. I didn't even like take off the top layer of my makeup. I have so much left. That's one of the upsides of Snazaroo compared to some other products is that you get a lot of paint and you could easily cover your entire body with just one thing of Snazaroo and it doesn't take a lot of makeup to do your face. So after painting your face, you contour it or do whatever you need to do to give yourself the finished look. And then after that, there's a couple things you need to do to make sure that your makeup stays on all day. This part's really, really, really important. Please do not skip this part. You hear people complain all the time about home stucks or other people who cosplay with paint all over them getting it everywhere and that's like, just, it's a no-no, don't do it. <laughs> You're gonna need some final finishing powder and some sealant. If you don't have any professional stuff, you can use baby powder and hairspray and that'll work as your sealant and your powder. I use baby powder, I keep it in this mineral tub. Um, I ran out of this makeup a long time ago, so it's just baby powder in here. I'm not picky about brushes, I'm no makeup guru. Use whatever brush you want, but I would not recommend using your really nice brush that you use every day for your makeup. This is just a cheap brush I got off of eBay. It has a flat end. I don't know what it's called. I don't really care. Just whatever works, don't ruin your old brushes. And just like go ham on your face. Don't hold back. When you think you're done, put more on because you're not done, trust me. When I apply powder, I dab like I did with my, when I applied the makeup. I dab it on, I don't streak it on because you, risk, you run the risk of pulling your makeup with your brush and you don't want that to happen. After you've caked your face with baby powder, you're going to use a sealant. This is also a primer which I always put on before my makeup too, but after you've powdered your face you're going to use a sealant. I have, I don't know, I bought this from Walmart, I think. It's called Face Prime. It smells like wine. After your setting spray is dried, I like to go in and do a second coat of powder. And then finally, you seal again. I just personally would rather have a thick face than someone to come up to me and be like, hey, you got your makeup all over my cosplay that I spent hours on.
if you sealed it properly, you should be able to touch your face and like not mess up your makeup. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm pretty proud of us. Jacob, yeah. come here. Yeah. Touch my face. Now show the camera. Is there any makeup on your hands? No. Did I do good? Yeah. Uh, uh, stop. <laughs> There's still none. <laughs> All right, there you have it. That's how you apply Snazaru and keep it on all day. Um, if you'd like, check out my other video I made some time ago about how to apply and seal your makeup using Ben Nye makeup. And check out my channel if you want to see other videos about cosplay and other things going on in my life. And I'll see you guys next time. By the way, just a quick update. The next con I'm going to is Dragon Con, and I hope to see all of you there. I'm really excited to meet everyone, and have a good time. So I'll see you guys later.